Fun statistical fact, cows are about 300 times more likely to kill you than coyotes. If it was common for people to keep several hundred coyotes on their property and routinely chase them into a corral and handle them, this statistic would be different. Hashtag that's why presentation of data matters. Hashtag to prevent misinformation. Yes, okay, right. There was a website that I found a couple of weeks ago, which is incredible if you want to learn about this stuff. It's called your logical, your logical fallacy is dot com. And it goes through a bunch of different logical fallacies and things that people use in arguments to make it work for them, even if they are wrong. Look into it. <laughs> Please look into it and educate yourselves. Also, it's kind of weird that I brought this up coming from like coyotes and cows. Ah, no, weird segues. Hello and welcome to Calbus. My name is Zen and today we're taking a look at r slash Tumblr, a subreddit dedicated to posts and things and funny musings from that funny little website called T T Tumblr. It's in the name. Let's just jump straight in, shall we? Weather boy. Derogatory. OP, what does this mean? Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? <laughs> I use this way too much and it confuses the people because I don't think they've seen the meme. I use this way too much just to be, just for no purpose. Just for no purpose. If I've got nothing else to say, I'd just be like, wouldn't you like to know where the boy, and it doesn't even need to be in context. People asking if I want to play a game, wouldn't you like to know where the boy. Maybe this is why I don't get invited to many things. <laughs> An outstanding move. The earth is flat. Flat or flat. I don't believe that the Earth is real. Oh, our conspiracy, the conspiracy theorist. Good move. This is true. This is true. Then what was it? Uh, there was that TikTok recently of just like, hey, do you want to know how to shut down a conspiracy theorist? COVID isn't real. The flu kills more people. You believe in the flu? <laughs> you foolish person. You think that's air you're breathing right now? Just a simulation. Oh, you believe in simulations? <laughs> what is digital? Just, just go off. Just go off and sound crazy and crazier, and they'll either leave you alone or they will follow you just to see how far you go. And who knows? Maybe they'll join you. <laughs> Soul bonding through conspiracy theorists. Oh, that sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> What's one aspect about Minecraft you wish would be different? I wish you could give Endermen a flower and they would become your friend. Smile. Smile. Aww. Oh, this is actually really nice. I mean, <laughs> if they wanted a flower, I mean, they would just take it and just walk away. This just sounds like a socially awkward friend, you know, that type of friend that you, they do enjoy your company, but at the same time, they don't know if they're actually truly wanted or if they're accepted or anything like that. So they kind of distance themselves and then they start to feel isolated. God, I'm calling myself out right now. What is this? Am I a freaking Enderman? <laughs> Long and short, be kind to your friends. Uh, d don't be afraid to reach out uh, if you worry that you annoy them. Because uh, if you get in a loop with that with multiple people, then nobody messages each other and everyone feels like they don't like each other. And it just gets into this weird territory. And it just, just, be, just, just feel free. Don't be afraid to reach out to people. Because you never know, they might need it more than you realize. <laughs> wow, where did this go? I didn't expect this post to go in this direction. Scared, bad at aiming, and not enough mental power to master weapons. At people who play support characters. How? I just want to barge in and shoot everyone. How can you stay back and heal? I'm um, bad at aiming. Scared. Just bad at aiming and scared. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. I guess so. I mean, if you're at the front lines, you have to have a degree of like being really good at aiming and good tactics and whatnot, or just very lucky to be good at just barging in and doing your job. But I am a support player. I'm a support character in game and in life. <laughs> I have said this on multiple occasions to people. I'm the one that works behind the curtain to make sure other people do well. <laughs> I don't know, man. There's just something intrinsically pleasing about, you know, just helping someone else be the best that they can be. And like, you don't even need, it's not for like credit or anything like that. You just want to help other people. Oh God, this is, I just realized this is coming across as very self-masturbatory. No, th this isn't how I wanted this to come across. Oh no. <laughs> TLDR, it's just nice to help other people. <laughs> Snore laxative set. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, can we just can we just linger on that username for a second? Snorlaxity. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's so good. Oh. <laughs> Snow Langstiff says, I think cyclists are so funny with their little outfits and their little sunglasses and the way they travel in packs like the anchovies from SpongeBob. Same energy. <laughs> there is safety in numbers. I'm not a cyclist, but I understand the mentality behind it. Because let's face it, if you're on a little metal frame cycling along, those cars, all it takes is just like one little bump and you're gone. You're gone. You're gone. And cars, you know about the feud between cyclists and drivers, right? You've seen this. You've seen it everywhere. Maybe you're the one. Maybe you participate in this. But think about it this way, right? If you're a cyclist and you've got more cyclists around you and you form what is essentially a cyclist lorry, <laughs> just a formation of cyclists, you're less likely to get mown down. <laughs> the tension between cyclists and drivers can be very simply resolved by one simple phrase. Just don't be a dickhole. Respect others on the road. Fundamentally, you're not better than anyone else. Everyone else deserves respect. Just stop being an asshole, BMW and Audi drivers. One of my favorite things I've learned about animal studies is that you should avoid using colorful leg bands when you're banding birds, because you can accidentally completely skew the data because female birds prefer males with colorful bands. Apparently, if you put a red band on a male red wing blackbird, his harem size can double. So like you completely frick up the natural reproduction of a group of birds by giving a guy a bracelet so stylish that females cannot resist him. Why are we not taking this? What? I should be using this. Lumo. Lumo? Actually, maybe I should mention that you want a harem on the <laughs> Where the red band, man? Where the red band? Now I am starting to see the importance in accessorizing. Maybe, maybe this is where I've been going wrong in life. <laughs> What's a good store to get some, like, good, high quality, fashionable accessories? <laughs> Can I get some recommendations and comments, please? I want to accessorize. <laughs> this is an abuse of power, I'm pretty sure. Is selling pickles in a movie theater really just a Texas thing? Like, I can't imagine going to a movie and not getting a pickle. Like, what? What the frick is going on in Texas? Is... Okay, if there is anyone from Texas watching this, can you please let me know? Is this a thing? Actually, just anywhere. Does anywhere... D -d Does anyone eat just get pickles? for the cinema. I have never had that as a theater snack. <laughs> I have never even considered that as a theater snack. Like, don't get me wrong, I like a good pickle. Pickles can be good, mm, tasty, tasty, but not in a theater. <laughs> God, I'd be so unnerved if I'm just watching a film and in the dark, that like someone in, in the row in front of me, I just see them whop out a gherkin. He's <laughs> like, dude, this is not the time nor place. I remember going to the cinema once with my grandma and she would, she came in with like a, like a big bag and she, like at the beginning of the show, like she, in the, like when all the adverts were going, she just brought out Tupperware and just started making freaking sandwiches. Like she, <laughs> like, why is this? Is this normal? Like, <laughs> I have the frame of reference at the moment. I'm so young. Is this the normal thing to do? <laughs> it was a good sandwich though. Fun game, refer to America as South Canada and watch as Americans lose their crap. Probably because it's United States of America and not South Canada? That doesn't even sound right. Look, it's working. You fell into the trap. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> That's so good. It works so well. <laughs> I do love Canada. Canada is America's hat and it... it you know what? I would actually prefer to call it South Canada. <laughs> At the moment, I am seriously considering moving to Canada. So, uh, so hey, uh, any Canadians, if you want to give me like any help on like how to immigrate <laughs> and maybe room and board, I don't know. I, I can pay rent. I'm just looking for a name. <laughs> Please throw. No take. Only throw. Please pet. No pet. Only pet. No one told me there was a cat version. I love this meme because it's so true. My cat has recently started to get like this. And like originally he was like super affectionate and everything. But now he's just like, I want affection, but I'm going to make you work for it. It's like, mother... F I, I <laughs> How do you think this relationship works, cat? If you want me to pet you, you gotta let me pet you. Also, 
Also, here's a picture of my cat. Look at him. He is adorable. His name is Frodo and I love him. No one can take him from me. No one! This also reminds me of the variation, which is just like, be good, no practice, only good. <laughs> While they may be long gone, the memories will never fade away. Time heals all wounds, but the scars are a constant reminder. There were better ways to do this. Those signs do come off. They actually grow back when you try to do that, though. Like lizard tails. Blockbuster will never die. Blockbuster is eternal. Blockbuster lives within. <laughs> Can we make a Blockbuster cult? <laughs> Maybe Blockbuster is living... <gasps> Maybe Blockbuster is within Netflix and it's just waiting for a time to strike. <laughs> like a parasite. <gasps> oh, it's like a chest burster from Alien. One day Blockbuster will return and take back what is rightfully theirs. <laughs> the vibe is right. Floating skull, floating skull, floating munch, munch, munch. Sure. The date says 2014, but the vibe is 2020. I... <laughs> I can't... Yeah, I can't contest that. Everything... <laughs> it just seems right. <laughs> yeah. God, I got nothing for this. This, this is just 2020. Like, nothing feels out of place. That's a smart cat. The highlight of my day was my teacher bringing his cat to school, and every time he asked the class a question, his cat would meow and it would accept it as an answer. Love it. 10 out of 10. <gasps> I, yes. Oh, that is adorable. Like, okay, okay. Can we take a look at that left-hand photo? Look at the way those two are looking at Find someone that looks at you like that. That is what you need in your life. <laughs> you need a cat that will meow with you. That is wholesome. I love it. That is so good. Oh, I'm going to teach my cat calculus so he can answer questions in class. I'm not. I am not. I'm just going to go pet him. Actually, I'm going to go do that right now. So to do that, that's all the time we have for today on Calbus. If you like the video, consider dropping a like or maybe even subscribing. Or hey, share with a friend if you want to share with them some funny, funny posts. <laughs> we would really appreciate it. If you want to see some more r slash Tumblr, wait around just a couple more seconds because another one will be popping up on your screen. But on that note, I have been your host, Zen, and I hope to see you in the very next video. Have a great rest of your day.